Feinstein just slapped with cold retribution, big bomb dropped in her lap. Right Wing News reports it looks like decades of Diane Feinstein's senility might have finally caught up with her. A report that Senator Tom Cotton from the great state of Arkansas is now has now said Diane Feinstein's office will indeed be investigated for the leak of Christine Blasey Ford's letter. A letter which Ford herself explicitly requested be kept confidential. Quote, they have betrayed her, Cotton said on CBS, Face the Nation. She's been victimized by Democrats on a search and destroy mission for Brett Kavanaugh. Americans should be appalled and disgusted by how Christine Blasey Ford is being treated. My heart breaks for our nation over this disgrace of how the tragic issue of sexual assaults being used for political reasons, America is better than this. I also mourn over the loss of the presumption of innocence for the accused, most of all for Brett, Judge Brett Kavanaugh and his family. Ms. Ford continues to be used and emotionally badgered by Senator Diane Feinstein and other Democrats, even by her own attorneys. Ms. Feinstein has held the trusting and frightened woman in her very powerful fist, squeezing out every one ounce of pain and misery in order to further a rapid political agenda. It's inexcusable that Ms. Feinstein did not immediately call for a confidential investigation into Ms. Ford's charges when she received the letter on July 30th. Instead, she urged Ms. Ford to lawyer up, even connected her to attorneys partially funded by Feinstein's radical leftist buddy, George Soros. Ms. Ford discovered in front of the world that her lawyers failed to extend to her the offer from Senate Judiciary Committee investigators to fly to her home to interview her in private away from the circus that everyone knew a Senate hearing would create. Her attorneys should be investigated for malpractice. They never told her that the Senate Judiciary Committee was willing to travel to her. Hell-bent on thwarting President Trump at every level, the Democratic Senator Feinstein and her colleagues pledged to do anything to try to kill the U.S. Supreme Court nominee of Judge, nomination of Judge Kavanaugh. And they have done everything, even to lie, to emotionally abuse and use a vulnerable woman as a political pawn. Ford appears to have suffered from some traumatic event as a child. For whatever reason, she's chosen to take it out on Judge Kavanaugh, but hers is a hollow accusation. She cannot provide any corroboration for her accusation against Judge Kavanaugh. In fact, the supposed witnesses she earlier named all day all, the, all say under penalty of perjury that she's mistaken because they don't know what she was talking about. Yet Feinstein and her cohorts insisted on an FBI investigation, which caused Ford more suffering. We wonder, did her attorneys or any of the Democrats warn her that another FBI investigation will allow others to examine the personal details of her life? Did she know that they would dig up her high school yearbook or delve into the psychological state she had as a teen or that embarrassing events of her youth might be revealed? Is anyone who showered praise on Ford trying to protect her from further trauma? Six FBI investigations and multiple Senate hearings and investigations revealed only positive conclusions about Judge Kavanaugh's past and character. Ms. Ford's past has not seen such scrutiny. And now, thanks to the leftists, Ford's life will be put on public display as the leftist media continue to berate Judge Kavanaugh with breathless, unsubstantiated accusations. As advocate for victims of violent crime, I stand with hurting women who will never be the same because I believe in justice for all. I unequivocally support the rights of the accused too. Justice demands that an accusation be accompanied by verifiable facts before someone is branded a criminal and his or her life is ruined. Had Senator Feinstein believed that Ford's allegation were credible, she would have immediately followed Senate procedure calling for a confidential investigation that protected the rights of the accused and the accuser. But instead, Feinstein coerced Ford to participate in a very public, quote unquote, trial. The hearing did not turn out as the leftists planned. The American people heard a very emotional but weak accusation against a man of high moral character. They saw how Feinstein and her cohort manipulated 
a fragile woman into an untenable position as their public pawn. And now with the help of Senator Jeff Flake, who fears feminists more than he values principle, they are dragging out the process using the weapon of delay in order to sacrifice Judge Kavanaugh on the altar of their socialist agenda. <clears throat> Senator Cotton said the Democrats like Diane Feinstein would be at fault if women become less likely to report sexual assaults because of the way they betrayed her, although she explicitly requested the letter be kept confidential. Feinstein, who was a ranking Democrat on the Judiciary Committee, received a letter over the summer from Ford where she described the incident with Kavanaugh, a letter Feinstein kept confidential at the request of Ford, but at some point information about Ford was leaked to the press through the California Democrat, although she uh, denied that she or her office was responsible. It's safe to assume that's where it came from, since no one else had the letter or knew about that incident. In fact, everyone who knew Ford when the incident happened has gone on the record saying this whole narrative could not have happened, which would probably explain why Ford's social media accounts were scrubbed within half a day of when the letter leaked. So whatever that happened, uh, let's hope that this is a real investigation, did not just political, it's not just political theater, as is the case with most of Trey Gowdy's so-called investigations. <clears throat>